all right, cool. I'm up front that I'm not going to do anything platonic with you, just being honest. Isn't that what women want? Honestly? Nah, bro. <laughs> Right. Like, 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 I'm used to them. I'm used to this at this point. They're stupid. They're idiots. Hey, this shirt can go both ways, man. It ain't, this ain't only meant for females. Males can fall within this too, man. Um, <laughs> so apparently, Fresh and Fit out here doing more damage control with all this mess, man. I was just talking, we, me and my girl was just talking about this, bro. Like every time, well, even I haven't seen it yet, man, but it's just falls in line with more of the, of the same that I have been thinking in regards to all this mess going on, bro. It's like every time they try to do damage control, it's the apology videos they put out or whatever, they just, it seems like they just dig themselves a deeper hole. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm thinking they have said something in here that's of substance in some form or fashion because some of the comments in my videos where I gave my feelings about all this nonsense going on, a lot of y'all told me to check out this video because they address some things and give a clearer picture as to what took place. And it's like, you need to have both sides of the stories there to come to a real conclusion. And I'm trying, I'm sitting here thinking about like, what could they possibly show that is going to like highlight them in a better light? Because they trash to me. They, they're trash to me at this point. I don't give a damn. I mean, I don't know if they say, if they say some groundbreaking information or whatever, like some real damning information that supports them, then I mean, it is what it is. I, I'll, all right, my bad. Uh, I jumped, I jumped to conclusions, but I just don't see how that's going to be possible, bro. And I said, I'm, I don't take this lightly, man. Like, I mean, like I said in the first video, I don't like the influence that they have over a lot of folks in regards to the dating world and how men should be and, and how they interact and do this, that, and the third women. Like, nah, they teach a certain discipline, but they don't practice what they teach based on the receipts that we were provided. So I don't know how you can show anything outside of what was shown from Abba and uh, what's the girl name? Anna Quinn, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I was given timestamps and I guess it's gonna give us a better picture as to what's been going on and let's do it, man. Let's let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Y'all don't wanna let this go. I don't let it go either, man, cause nah, nah, y'all need to, I'm gonna shut up first. I'm gonna shut up, I'm gonna shut up. Wait to see what's taking place. All right, let's go. This whole thing started with a transactional fun and genuine burning desire. In an earlier show, you mentioned that fitness girl about only collaborating with her if she had fun with you. How is that genuine desire and not transactional? Right. Okay. Oh, let's do it. Okay. How, how is that genuine desire and not transactional? All right. Let's do it. Anna Quinn Fitness. Anna Quinn Fitness. Let's do this. Okay. Chris, can you start getting out ready? Yeah. And you want to talk about how you guys um, even started conversating? Okay, guys. So me and Anna know each other because we are in, in the same fitness, online fitness coaching mastermind, okay? And uh, we, we we both did pretty well. Um, and we knew each other through that through that, um, through that that program. So we had a mutual friend. I had them reach out. Uh, to. But she says she didn't know him at all. But he, now he's saying he does know her. So I guess she's lying about that. For her to do a class through that program. So we had a mutual friend. I had them reach out uh, to, to her to do a class. So I'm going to show you guys. I'm going in here trying to dissect things, man, because she said she didn't know him. He said they, they knew each other through some mastermind fitness program, but they knew each other. Why did he reach out to a friend that they had in common to reach out to her? Why didn't he just reach out to her himself? I'm saying I find that odd, but all right. So we had a mutual friend. I had them reach out uh, to to her to do a class. So I'm going to show you guys from the beginning. Um, from the beginning, all right. So because the thing is, is that she only showed part of the conversation. As a matter of fact, let's play her video, Chris. Okay. One second. Give it one second, guys. Chris is uh, pulling it up. He has so many things behind there that he's like, he has like pr probably I don't like. I want to watch her video because. He won. 
I don't want to, because I already saw her video. I want to see what you got to say, bro. He's talking, so fuck. All right. Damn, I don't want to watch this shit all over again. Okay. Let's go to 551. I actually responded to the DM, and I was like, hey, you know, what's up? He said, let's do a collab. I was like, okay, cool. Um, I was actually planning a trip to Miami, so I told him, like, this is what I'm going to be in Miami. Um, I wasn't going to pay to come out to be on his show, and I hadn't even looked into his show. I just kind of went off of the friend's recommendation. So Myron and I went back and forth. I'm just going to pull up the text so I don't say anything that's not true. He asked me when the soonest I was going to be out there is. I told him that I was planning on being there Friday. He said he wasn't going to be uh, available then and then he asked me a relationship question for some reason I did not see that mess or that part of the message or I was busy or whatever so I said do you want to make it happen or should I plan for next week and uh, he said it have to be next week so we're just discussing logistics I answered his question said um, I'm not dating anyone right now dated someone a couple months last year but um, before that I was single and I love talking on that topic he said, oh, okay, cool. I'm up for that. I'm not going to do anything platonic with you, just being honest. And I thought he was reaching out for a collaboration because we're both well known in the fitness industry. Um, and, you know, my Instagram following is larger than his. So at the time, I still didn't know he had a 400, you know, him and his partner have a $400,000, $400,000 subscriber YouTube page. But I have been approached about collaborations before. And so since I was going to be out there, it's down to do it. So when he said, I'm not trying to do anything platonic with you. It was completely left field for me because I was only thinking we were going to do some kind of fitness related content collab. And he said, no problem. I collab directly with girls. I date no pressure though. And Pause I was that. like, so if we aren't dating, you don't want to. Collab. So dating is much different than bang me or else you come on the show. You know what I'm saying? Which is what she was trying to insinuate. Cause in her, in her video, she says, Oh, Myron bribes girls to get on the show um, to have, um, she goes, bribing women with collaboration for sex is what she's saying. So I basically tell her, hey, uh, just so you know, we're going to work together, but I'm not trying to make this platonic at all. I'm being upfront and direct with her. Guys, on the show, what, this, what do we say all the time? If you're going to talk to a girl, let her know the exact Up attention. Front. Don't waste time. This woman is in California, guys. Yep. Okay? I'm in Miami. Let's continue. Bruh, that, this is... They're trying to brush this part under the rug, and this goes into the whole problem with them, bro. How can you just minimize what everyone's main concern is? Well, at least my main concern is, and a lot of others' main concern is, you practicing what you preach. You know what I'm saying? Their initial introduction was solely rooted around collabing. He has a YouTube platform. She's on Instagram. She has a platform. You collab to benefit from each other's platforms, right? This isn't just some encounter that you're having with some female out in the streets and potentially trying to you seek something romantic with them. You know what I'm saying? It went from work to dating, bro. No problem. I collab directly with girls I date. No pressure, though. How... how in what world does that mean anything else besides smashing? I collab directly. It wasn't sometimes I collab or, you know, sometimes our collabs may lead into something else. No, it's no problem. I, co I collab directly with girls I date. If I collab with you, I'm, I'm dating you. No pressure. I'm not pressuring you to collab with me, but if you collab with me, I'm expecting to date with you. I don't want anything platonic. So if you're solely coming out here just to work, I'm not interested in that. But you reached out her, you reached out to her for working collaboration. So at this point, when you say what you said, I'm not seeking anything platonic, just being honest. She says, I'm confused. I'm not trying to do anything with you except collab. No problem. I collab with I collab directly with girls I date. No pressure though. That turns into transactional, right? At there at that point. So you can't minimize that. Whatever the bullshit, whatever he just said. What did he just say? This woman is a if you're gonna talk to a girl, 
this ain't about this. Th yeah, you can't. If you're gonna talk to a girl, this that would be valid if you were trying to hear. If you were here trying to talk to the girl, but you're trying to work with this girl and you flip the script on her. Now you're trying to say I'm only working with you if we date. Which <laughs> I would assume the majority of the world would think that means smash. And you're saying no, there's no pressure for you to come work with me. If you don't want to smash, if you don't want to date, come on, man, come on, man, come on, man. And they trying to watch that like that ain't important, bro. This is where this is this is the source of everybody's issue that have issue from a valid place. I can I can care I can care less about the mess that's about the, the, they're about to go into with the bickering back and forth or whatever, bro. This is the problem. This is the problem. You teach I want burning desire. How can you get burning desire from forcing the girl? to work with well he's not forcing her he said no pressure there's no pressure for you to work with me but if you work with me i'm expecting a date because i i collab directly with girls i date not some girls i date not at times i date i collab directly with girls i date that's inclusive of all the girls he dates he collabs with or all the girls he collabs with he dates. Come on, bro. Come on, man. They think y'all stupid, bro. They think y'all stupid, dog. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Hey, uh, just so you know, we're going to work together, but I'm not trying to make this platonic at all. I'm being upfront and direct with her. Guys, on the show, what do we, what do we say all the time? If you're going to talk to a girl, let her know. And then, and then, and then, that's, that's, this is terrible information to be giving to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Especially in a working environment. If y'all go, if y'all go out here moving like that in a working environment, y'all ass going to get arrested for sexual harassment or something. Or getting blackballed or something in the working at the working field. If that's how you address women at work, what do we teach? Put it up. Put, be up front. Okay, this is not this is not a situation where that should be the course of action. Talking to a girl like that, trying to work, and then like there's no there's nothing. <laughs> um, the delivery in that was crazy. Like that would put off any girl, bro. Like she don't know you. I'm not looking for anything platonic. That ain't that ain't where this conversation stemmed from. You just any girl will react the way that she reacted. Well, the majority of them will react the way she reacted if they're if they have if they got some brains in between their ears, man. Come on, bro. And direct with her, guys. On the show, what do we, what do we say all the time? Mm -mm. If you're gonna talk to a girl, let her know exactly. Up attention. front, don't waste time. This woman is in California, guys. Yeah, you want. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, you want to work with her. You know that. You you want to work with her. You want her to fly to Miami to work with you. This ain't for you. Ain't reaching out her to date. Well, she don't know that. You know she don't know that. You just flipped it on her, bro. And that's transactional. And that's that's why they losing subs right now because that's transactional. We don't pay for boxes. That's transactional. I'm in Miami. Let's continue. But we have plenty of women in Miami. And I said, well, same. We have plenty of men here in California. So why would I fly to Miami to date someone who I know nothing about? And he said, simple. Attractive women are common. High value men are not. <laughs> I'm not going to comment on that yet. Bro, you can't. Uh, bro, I don't. If y'all. Anyway, I've said enough. I've said enough. They're not. She's seeking. He reached out to her to collab and then drop this on her like that out of nowhere. Come on, man. Come on, man. Now you putting a pressure on her, trying to make her feel like like you the man when you reached out to her. Come on, bro. That's ass backwards. Uh, no hard feelings though. Mm. I said you haven't proven to me that you're a high value man, and actually, I know quite I know quite a few high value men. I'm not just an attractive woman. I'm an entrepreneur with a six figure business and a high profile assets. I'm nothing but com nothing but common. I so guys, see here how she says this. Say I'm anything but common. No. So she writes me that paragraph, and then look at the time. Later on in the day, she texts me again at ten o'clock. Pay attention to the time because she made she did not acknowledge this at all. So I need you guys to like follow along with the timeline because I'm going to show you guys the full text as well. Yep. Um, with a video, not screenshots. That's the difference. Because when you look at this in full context, you start to see what really happened here. Okay. Uh, let's hit let's uh, let's hit play. So I need you guys to make some notes because she's gonna make allegations that I lied about her trying to destroy the business. Yeah. She's gonna make allegations that, 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 I yeah, that I doxed her, and she's yeah. also gonna make an allegation that I'm a liar and a bully. So we're gonna play it so she we could get her full side, but just keep in mind those are the allegations she's gonna make, okay? Yeah. So we'll just play it so we don't hit any more slowdown. We apologize for that, guys. All that stuff he just listed, I don't care. I could care less about the <laughs> allegations trying to destroy. Like that ain't whatever. That's noise. That has nothing to do with the morality of this or lack of morality of this or lack of integrity in this. You are teaching men to be a certain way. You're not. You're not 
moving the way you're teaching me. All this other, sh all this other stuff is just noise. I posted on my story because I was shocked at this point that someone would use their business, their show, to try to get women, and they think that that would work. And I was also that's the problem. That's the problem. Shocked that he said that attractive women are common and high value men are not. When it's just like he dismissed me as an attractive woman, but not high value man or not a high value woman. And um. You know, I don't know anything about this guy. So for him to tell me that he's this high value man when you're having to use your show to get women, high value men don't have to uh, use their show and clout to get women for the record. Anyway, I don't, um, see, how, I don't see how any of this is cleaning anything up for them, man. <laughs> I don't see how any of this is cleaning it. I don't see how any of this is cleaning anything up for them. So I posted anonymously and I said, high value men don't talk the way that you did. I have 75 people on my story. I posted a poll and I was like, am I tripping or is this crazy? I forget exactly what I said, but people, I had so many people voting. Oh my gosh, like this is insane. And so I said, I, I have 75 people on my story who voted. I can't believe what you said. The comments are insane. Not one person has your side or thinks your approach is appropriate. You're tripping. And I was using emoji faces laughing. I said, Maybe you should have me on your podcast so I can teach you how to talk to women. And I sent the screenshots. Then he said, responded to the screenshots that I sent and said, I'm just being honest and stand by it. I'm not collaborating with you unless we have sex. You have had sex with a bunch of dudes I know and aren't special. You could have just said no and kept it moving, but you're clearly in your feelings going through all that effort with a poll, et cetera. Go ahead and screenshot the conversation of Clout Chase. I don't care what 75 simp said in your story to white knight the difference is i say what i want and don't care what you think they do so at this point this is where myron lied and told so, and then i'm like he, he he tried to he he just tried to say sometimes i date try to like make it paint it prettier than how he meant it across i'm not looking for anything platonic i collab with everybody that i date he said, well, you know, dating, That who says dating means we're having sex? Bro, you just said that. You just said that. I'm not collabing with, I'm not collabing with you unless we, you literally just said that. Transactional. And y'all still following this man. Everyone that I started threatening him. And she blurted out my name. And then she sent me a DM saying like, you should probably rethink how you talk to women, blah, blah, blah. Trying to shame me and say like, I can expose you. I, she's like, I'll expose you. I was like. Do it, bitch. Like, <laughs> go ahead. Like, I started threatening his business and threatening to expose him. Yeah, up. yeah. And she made threats like, "Oh, I, I'm gonna like." I have proof of this. Watch. It'll be bad for your business. I said, "Do it. I'll, I'll, I'll mm. share. I'll help All right, you." He trying to deflect. This is not what the problem is. Who cares about this? I don't give a damn about this noise. Who cares? He's trying to deflect. <laughs> None of this happened. You can see in the DMs that was just a blatant lie. I was like, I was like, we're gonna smash. She didn't like that. She tried to be like, oh well, that's. I'm trying to see what Myron's gonna say because I already know what all this shit is. All right. And uh, so the big allegations are: I lied about her threatening to or the uh, expose the business and uh, hurt the business. Right. We doxed her. We doxed her. Well, which is when you lie, people will come at you. Yeah. The way. Um, and then that uh, yes. So those are the two big ones that we doxed her and that we uh that sh basically we alleged that she was threatening the business so let's go ahead and play the full tech he's not addressing the transactionals <laughs> at all in that he's not he's not addressing the important topic he's not addressing why everybody has issue with them now that you don't practice what you preach you want burning desire but you conduct in transactional sex that's the issue avoiding it and they're avoiding it bro they're avoiding it just digging a deeper hole text now yo we should do a collab right hey sir what you got in mind that should, that should be yo we should do a collab but if we collab we got to smash that's what that's just to say that's the f stop cussing that's the problem yo we should do a collab right hey sir what you got in mind smiley face Instant YouTube collab in Miami. Sure, I'm not sure when I'm gonna be in Miami, but uh, can definitely let you know next time I'm out there. Hit play. Okay, scroll down. When's the soonest you can be out here? Friday, LOL. Oh damn, I'll be in Vegas, okay? This is when I'm at the CME, okay? Uh, also, we do a nice show where we discuss dating relationships. Are you single or married? Now, I ain't gonna lie. 
I asked this number for two reasons. Number one, to get to see what she would fit in as far as like for the show to see if she's single. And hey, I'll shoot my shot. I don't care. I'm owning it, baby. Yeah. Listen, I'll shoot my shot. On the show all the time, right? I'm used to rejection. We are very direct, man. Yeah. You shooting your shot, and if she don't take your shot, it's a problem. Everything that they should have focused on to clean this up, they're making it worse. I'll shoot my shot. On the show all the time, right? I'm used to rejection. We are very direct, man. Yeah. Uh, and at the same time, look. He they said, you so know what? Whack, dog. No hard feelings. But yep. she, she kept going. So. Two birds with one stone. I'm not going to sit here and cap and say, I didn't nah, try to shoot my shot. Fuck. No, he did not say no hard. Nah, no, no, no. The damn message said, just to be clear, I date everyone I collab with or I collab with people I date. Something to that effect. No pressure, though. So he put it out there and said, if we collab, we must date. Which he went later on and said, we ain't collabing unless we... So that's what he meant. But no pressure, though. There's no pressure for you to come out here and work with me to potentially smash. I'm not pressuring you to do that. But just know, if you do come out here to work with me, I expect that to happen. Now, this is no pressure for... There's no pressure for... Uh, whatever fucking Walter Withers, whatever the hell his name is, talking about the, he's saying there's no pressure for you to be forced to entertain my past at you. You know what I'm saying? Like they they trying <laughs> they trying to mold this narrative, man. And a lot of y'all have failed for it, man. This is whack, bro. They whack. They whack. They whack. They whack. Hundred percent. If you guys watch this podcast, what do I tell you guys? You need to source girls from Instagram. You need to source girls from uh, online. You ain't, you ain't sourcing them, no. You trying to work with her, bro. You need to source girls from Cold Approach. You need to source mm. girls from Sugar Sites, which we're going to discuss that with you as well, guys. Get out of here. I tell you guys get all the time, if you here. really watch my content, you need to be using get every single avenue here. to get girls. He deflecting. So, He's deflecting. Are you single or married? Want me to make it happen, or should I plan for next week? It would have to be next week if we did it. This is because I'm in Vegas for the Conference of Masculine Excellence with Donovan Sharp, okay? Mm -hmm. She goes, uh, so she, would early next week work like Monday or Tuesday? She go, and then I go, that would be tough. You didn't answer my relationship question, LOL. Yeah, you didn't answer my relationship question because he's still trying to holler. So she goes, I'm so sorry. That message actually didn't load until now for some reason. I am single, okay? She says with an explanation point. I'm actually not dating anyone either right now. I dated someone for a couple months last year, and before that, I was single for about two years, but I love that topic. All right, cool. I'm up front that I'm not going to do anything platonic with you, just being honest. Isn't that what women want? Honestly? Nah, bro. <laughs> ah, yeah, bro. Like, 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 I'm used to them. I'm used to this at this point. They're stupid. They're idiots. They're idiots and they, they fooling y'all. Y'all falling for it. What irritates me is the support that they get, bro. And isn't, isn't that what y'all want? Honestly, bro, this ain't what that is. This ain't what that is, man. It's like... He reached out to her for her to collab. That's like me asking somebody to help me. Bro, can you help me fix my flat tire? They come they come to help you fix it. Be like, nah, but you gotta pay me two dollars first to come fix my tire. Look, I'm out can we collab? Uh sure we can collab, but um, all right, if we collab, it's I'm not looking for anything platonic, just being honest. But you reached, that's ass backwards. Take the transactional part out of it. Put the transactional part over here. Logically, that doesn't make any sense. How you gonna ask me to help you, but then but then ask me, but tell me I gotta do something for you in order for me to help you or collab. You reached out to her. You can't reach out to me, put that open for me, and then tell me I gotta do something first. That doesn't make any sense logically. And then add on top of it that it's transactional. In order for you to get this collab, we got to smash. But then, oh, this is honesty. No, this ain't honesty. This is a bunch of bulls is what it is, man. It's crazy. This is crazy. Honest with you, just being honest. Isn't that what women want? Honesty? <laughs> Exactly. And she goes, I'm confused. I'm not trying to do anything with you except clap. Of course she's going to be confused. What you mean? Cool. No problem. I collaborate directly with girls I date. No pressure, though. Which I'm, what, what I meant by that is I've collabed with girls I've dated before. It's not a big deal to me. You know what I'm saying? Maybe what I... <laughs> What I meant, what I meant. Well, what you meant, it ain't what you said. You had said that in the text. This wouldn't have got crazy the way you did, but that ain't what you said. You can't try to brush it up now, clean it up now. Now, come on, bro. No pressure though. Which I'm, what, what I meant by that, no problem. 
I collaborate directly with girls I date. No pressure though. Which I'm what, what I meant by that is I've collabed with girls I've dated before. It's not a big deal to me. I've collabed with girls I dated before. Not a big deal to me. That's entirely different from you saying, no problem. I collabed. I collab directly with girls I date. No pressure though. Those are two different ideas. Those are two different thoughts that mean tally two different things, bro. You can't say that and then expect her to to understand it the way you supposedly uh meant it. Nah, he's just trying to flip this nah bro that ain't what you meant that ain't what you meant and we know that ain't what you meant by the messages down later when you said we ain't collabing unless we can we know that's what you meant he lying just did a bold face lie right there oh he lied his ass off right there lied well girls i date no pressure though which i'm what, what i meant by that what is what 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 what, 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 what nah, come on Come on, I bro. collaborate directly with girls I date. No pressure, though. Which I'm what, what I meant by that is I've collabed with girls I've dated before. It's not a big deal to me. You know not, it's not a big deal to me. Not a big deal to me. If you say not a big deal to me, but you tell somebody no pressure, though. No pressure, though. It's no pressure for me. <laughs> How does that make sense? You should you shouldn't feel pressured to come work with me since I date everyone I collab with. So there's no don't feel pressure to do that, though. It ain't no, I'm not pressured because it's all this bullshit he's saying right now. Come on, man. Y'all smarter than this. No pressure, though. Which I'm, what, what I meant by that is I've collabed with girls I've dated before. It's not a big deal to me. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it is to her, but I'm telling her to me it's not a big deal. Bro, now, on, is this mixing pleasure of business? Yes. Come is on, it stupid? Man. Yes. Come on, man. I won't own that. But it's not the way she's trying to spin it. It I'm is the way she's trying to spin it. He lying. He's lying. He dead right straight lying to all of y'all. Me. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it is to her, but I'm telling her to me it's not a big deal. Right. Now, is this nah. mixing pleasure of business? No. Nah. Yes. Is it stupid? Yes. I will own that. But it's not the way she's trying to spin it on it some is. Weinstein crap. It is. Okay. No? It's don't mean to be an asshole. The way well, we have plenty of women here. It. So right? So that I tell her straight up, hey, I don't want to be a jerk, but I, I ain't gonna bring a girl out from California and like to be on the show. We got plenty of girls here. Like, no thanks. After you reached out to her. You reached out to her to collab. She's saying she don't want to smash, but now you're trying to dog her. Saying, you know, all right, don't feel pressure. I mean, there's plenty of pretty girls. That, that that just logically does not make any sense. Why would you say any of that? Now he's lying to y'all, but logically, how does that make sense? No, don't mean to be, but we have plenty of women in Miami. How does that make sense that you asked her to collab? If you had plenty of women in Miami, you should have just reached out to somebody else in Miami. But you ran into a girl that wasn't about to play this stupid game with you. And now it's a problem. Now you're trying to dog her gonna bring a girl out from california and like to be on the show we got plenty of girls here like no thanks so she goes well same lol we have plenty of men here in california so why would i fly out to miami to date who one who i know nothing about guys this is 10 17 p.m okay yeah june 3rd simple attractive women are common high value men are not not hard no hard feelings though i've said that many times on the podcast yeah that's nothing new it's new to her though, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> I can't. This is painful for me to watch, bro. This is painful. This is painful for me to watch. You do not. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn what you're talking about. You do not talk to a girl you're potentially trying to court and say that to her after she gives you some pushback of why she doesn't want to talk to you. And everything she's saying makes sense, bro. You reached out to me to work. Now you're trying to smash. And the fact that I don't know you, and I'm not trying to smash. You're trying to dog her. And but simple, simple, attractive women are common, high value men are not. You say that to any girl that you don't know, who don't know nothing about you, they gonna have issue with that. But damn, who the hell you are? But he's trying to take advantage of y'all. Y'all know I say this all the time. Y'all y'all know this is what I preach. So I'm saying what I'm I'm saying what I say to y'all to her, so it's all right. Nah, bro, you gotta put context to it, dog. She ain't she's not your audience. She ain't she ain't one of these little simp males out here that's gonna take that to heart. Bro, no, nah, you don't talk. No, you don't talk to women you're trying to date like that. You don't. Even if you this high value man that has his pick of the litter, you don't talk to women like that. You don't talk to certain women like that. You know what I'm saying? And this this should go into play. Like you, this is a trend because he's trying to get her to come onto the show. So I'd imagine the same. You know. I'd imagine the same SOP will, would happen with all the girls he screens to bring up on the show. They probably this is probably you know routine, you know dialogue between him and the girls, which is gonna and the, the girls who actually make the cut fall within that small percentage of girls that he wants to have to have there. Like, look, we ain't you ain't working with me unless we smashing. Like, come on, dog. How many girls you think gonna really fall in line with that? And then how do you think those girls are built?
So the girl that 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 goes into play with the show, like the girls. We already know the girls not a good representation of the women in society, but that even that's more damning to how, type of girls he has come on that show. This is stupid. I value men are not not hard no hard feelings though. I've said that many times on the podcast. Yeah, that's nothing new. You guys know I've said this a million times. So she gets triggered. Of course she's she going to get triggered. This. You of haven't proven to me that you're a high value man, and actually I know quite a few high value men. <laughs> I'm not just an attractive woman. I'm an entrepreneur with a six-figure business and a high a profile of assets. I'm nothing but common. No hard feelings. So she says what I said again back. I ignore it. Then she messages me again. In fact, wasn't my friend, neighbor, Mike Rashid, just on your show? This is extremely significant, guys, and she didn't put it before. Yeah. For those of you that don't know, Mike Rashid came on our show May 26th, a week prior to this conversation. Yeah. Okay? And we had plans to go out meet with Mike the following week to do a collab with him on his show California. and to go on the No Jumper podcast. Yeah. So her saying this was, I interpreted it. Again, this is how I interpreted it. She might have had another, She might. it might have been harmless on her end, but I interpreted it as, I'm going to tell Mike that you're talking to me like this, and I'm going to mess with your opportunity to go out and do yeah, the I'm interview, done. blah, blah, blah. I'm now, done. what she doesn't realize is, I'm done. He's me and Mike are cool. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no, nah, bro, there's nah, no nah, issues. Nah, this video was way too long, bro. He just keeps... He just keeps smacking y'all in the face. Smacking y'all in the face. Y'all keeps eating it up. Eating up all fresh and fit. Myron, whatever, Will, William fucking Witherspoon, whatever his name is, bro. We just love y'all so damn much. He's just lying. He just make he just making y'all look terrible, bro. She says she used that as an example of what she knows a high value man to be. The way I interpret that as you just on her. And she's like, you haven't proven to me you're a high value man. I, in fact, I know a high value man that my neighbors or my friend was just on your show he said he said that show was filmed the previous week it makes sense for her to say that because the way i understand her mind state of all this to be is that their mutual friend reached out to her and said hey my own trying to get a hold of you you should talk to him not you know what i'm saying he has a big platform i'm sure she found out that he has this large platform and probably saw mike rashid on his platform and whenever the hell they posted that video you know what i'm saying now she has that in common with them she knows mike rasheed which pr will probably help her feel more comfortable coming on the show because that's really her friend for him to connect those dots saying that she's potentially going to use mike rasheed as a way to like attack them like that's 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 doing a lot man that's doing a lot like how do you connect those dots how do you connect those dots that makes no sense that makes no sense He's doing he's doing his best trying to deflect and put the burden on her, making her seem like she's the bad person in this and she ain't do nothing wrong. At least up until this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, you reach out to her, you flip the script on her, you said we ain't working unless you smash her. She had issue with that. She pushed back and it's a problem. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm thinking myself too, like, all right, all right, my 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 mutual friend reached out to me. Put me on game as to you know what you're about your platform male empowerment and all this and i'm i'm exchanging with you through these messages and then i'm then i'm growing then i'm seeing how you're talking to me and this does not fall in line with what i expect your platform to be about so that would probably make that would probably that would definitely make me want to put you know that much more effort into exposing this because that's what i'm doing now you know what i'm saying I'm, I'm i'm essentially doing what she's doing from a male perspective like you put this energy out like you preach to be this way and i'm realizing this is not what you do this is not how you act so i'm doing my due diligence to expose the truth that's what she's doing you know what i'm saying she 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 did whatever she did posting whatever she posted you know what i'm saying like look this is not how you talk to a person but this this is who this man claims to be on this platform she's exposing the truth and every time it came down to the real issue at hand is them saying they don't do the transactional sex it's all about burning desire every time it came down to them owning up to that or claiming that or identifying that they just look over it or call it something else and they just lying all i've heard is bold face lies this entire time been talking this about 30 minutes now this is they just lying their ass off bro i can't watch any of this anymore bro I just, it just, it's probably just gonna go tick for tack. Well, she did this and he did that. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da, da -da -da, I can hear it because it's gonna be two girls going back and forth. I already, I can already see it take place. I'm not wasting my time with that. This, this ain't what I. This, I don't care about that. I don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? Um. Anyway, bro. Anyway, dog. And if this, this is the five hour 
live feed that they had trying to, you know, addressing allegations and rumors. Yeah, y'all y'all ain't addressed the y'all you, you did not address the elephant in the room. Y'all just stepped over that big ass elephant. Fucking whack ass liars, bro. Whack ass liars, dog. That's trash. And it's just it's on y'all. It's on y'all. The people who keep giving this energy as to like supporting them. I'm I'm giving energy. I'm trying to tear that damn shit down. That's whack. That's whack, bro. That's whack, dog. You don't do nothing like that, bro. You don't do nothing. You 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 a mentor out here. You're not doing right. You got a responsibility. Like I said in the last video, that's why I had issue with it. You got a responsibility. If you playing, you lying, you lying, you exploiting, taking advantage of folks, bro. You got the fucking wool over their eyes and shit, man. We gotta lift them, open them blinders, man, because they doing y'all dirty and y'all just eating it all up. I mean, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm out.